everyone, welcome to my channel on this Sunday, September 8th, 2024. And I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I just got back from the grocery store, got up 5.30 this morning. But um, I went to bed at 8.30 maybe last night. Um, I just actually was surprised I was able to go to sleep because I didn't once I hit the pillow, I'm like, I don't think I'm tired. But, uh, yeah, I didn't feel like watching um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space on Sven Gulli. I think I just seen it. I know he said he hadn't uh, watched it or aired that for like 14 years, I thought he said. But I could have sworn I just saw it on TV a couple of months ago. Anyways, got a hash brown. Got something that I've been doing for a couple of days now with the egg and um, tortilla. I was gonna change my shirt. Not too sweaty, right? I walked. That's a nice breeze, but I got like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 pounds. Well, I had a gallon of milk too. So, I don't know how much gas I have in this thing. So I kept my egg. Oh. I saw this. I said maybe I'll... I'll I'll give that a try. They were like two for seven dollars or something. Got my scissors here. Got a very hard to see line here. It's not too hot. Now it's sputtering. This is like, uh, not just for baking. I like to get some good color on that. I can scramble my egg, I guess. Salt. Some salt on this. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna need 
butter, right? Um, I don't have enough real estate. Sticks here is a nightmare. And how line cooks do it. Got some butter. Got my egg. one egg because the, the uh, tortillas I bought I don't know it's good portion size uh, you can always just have another one got my egg I got my chives and my bacon well ham oh maybe too much ham huh that was probably too much ham I turned it into an omelet. I scrambled it the last. 
last time I put it on. But, oh, I didn't put cheese on it. I'll put cheese on that maybe. Dope. seconds. Get some salsa here. Nice spicy breakfast. No. 
know what? This is a winner. This is like one of the best things I've made in the morning. Like I said yesterday, I didn't like it um, with that. But this ham goes perfect. And to have the um, sour cream on there too with the cheese. Oh, this is just, this is a good one.
idea. That ham would not have warmed up if I just sprinkled it cold onto the egg. Wow. I'm full. This is, I'd buy this. I'm not certain if I'm getting the chives. But the ham is going perfect with this. It's not going to be the same. Going to get that uh, industrial like flavor from like a fast food restaurant. Like they've got breakfast burritos, right? At Taco Bell. I don't think I've ever had them. shopping too it was like uh, it was under 50 it was like 47 dollars too i might go on this uh new uh, i might go on a soup binge i bought a can of then i had a flashback so first i missed the campbell soups area it's like small now they used to campbell soup used to be huge uh, um percentage of an aisle so I walked by it, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's Campbell's Soup not even around anymore, but I saw it, and then it dawned on me, didn't Campbell's Soup used to be like 99 cents, or you'd get like three for 99 cents or something like that, they like do something a can for Campbell's Soup, 235 or something. But then I'm looking at the Progresso, which I like to buy. I bought a Progresso clam chowder. You know, I bought the fresh clam chowder. I'm sorry. They put nothing in that. That's a ripoff. Those fresh refrigerated clam chowders. There's no clams in it. And there's not even like potatoes in it. It's the void of ingredients. The um, Progresso... Progresso, not Progresso, Progresso, right? Um, clam chowder, you add milk to it. Or is that the one you don't add anything to it? It's not concentrated. It's better than those. So I bought, what else did I buy? Pea soup, I think I like pea soup. I like to make pea soup. That ham is kind of cut too small for pea soup, but you know what is good? Is when you buy the honey baked ham. Oh man. Those, those are so good. They're like 
fifty dollars though, but you put that in a in a homemade pea soup. But anyways, I digress. So my bill came to forty-seven ninety-six, and uh, I bought. I don't think I have to show you. I guess maybe I'll just rattle them off and then show you afterwards. I bought a small two strip uh, crackers. Nabisco crackers, three ninety nine. Gallon of milk, four twenty nine. Four sticks a, a quarter. They call that a quarter pound of butter. What do they call that? Uh, four forty nine. Eggs, dozen eggs, five forty nine. Danish strip. That's what I'm about to have. Six ninety nine. Um, sausage links, they were on sale too, so I bought sausage links. Two for seven dollars. And the Smith's ham, which was a definite winner. That was two for six dollars. I bought a thing of celery, a small th one celery thing three ninety nine green onion that I showed you that was a dollar forty nine and then I bought uh, like four bananas dollar twenty five and oh yeah I forgot about that got that, to, what do they call it, lemon, lemon pound cake. They had it all cut up in strip and pieces and a box with an edge of icing on it. How do you, how do you peel a mango? I'm thinking of an avocado, but seed. Last time I bought one, I think I got it for the seed to try to germinate it. It's not as cheesy as they used to be.
mouthful. That went quickly. So I bought two. I don't know why I bought two. And I should buy mango and let it ripen on the counter, but these were already with the prospect of having them already this morning. I bought two that were already uh, had the red um, blush. Is that what you, what you say? They were already red.
glasses. Okay, I've got to get this more often. This is so good. It satisfies your sweet tooth, and it's so it's. I mean, they're in the, they're in the produce section, but this is actually nice and cool for some reason. It's it's in the fifties outside. What air conditioned building, I guess. Oh man. I should have one of those toothpicks. Most of them are all green. But you sp I think you're supposed to put these, you're supposed to put them in a bag with a banana or something. sitting around from now on. Why did I think they were expensive? This is slippery little buggers. I gotta get like a um, a toothpick or something. This is not attractive on camera. supposed to pick them green because if you pick the red ones they could be spoiled but this is perfect I know when I was selecting that I remember you're supposed to see if if it gives any at all I think I'm thinking of avocados <clears throat> you put those in a bag and let them ripen in a bag to peel this except do this thing the scoring that that I was doing something tells me that's what you're supposed to do Oh, 
Okay, so I paid nine dollars for that sticky rice, man mango sticky rice. So you got the rice and then the mango. That's a good profit margin on that. Don't you have the labor? So then you have this, and you have to. Okay, let me go. I can take this opportunity, I guess, to. Oh, I turned the refrigerator back on because I, I had it off for the video. You know what? Maybe not. Poking is not. That's not supposed to be polite or something. Now this, if you can eat mango with chopsticks, you're an expert. <laughs> yeah, no way. Because it's slippery. You'd have to be quite the expert. rice cookers, like a real traditional Japanese rice cooker. Oh yeah, that's, I still don't see, yeah, the seat's white, so. Wow, this is, oh yeah, that's all seed, so. Maybe what I'll do is uh, try to drink. 
germinate this. It's all seed. You can't even see it. I thought I had some more flesh here. Well, there's just so much more meat to this and juice. another video on uh, germinating mango seed I think you're supposed to you're supposed to take this covering off
So, thanks for watching. Keep on rambling on here. And thanks for your continued support and your comments. Thanks for using the Amazon affiliate link in the description. And give this a try. You won't be disappointed. What was that, Smith's?